everybody, we're back again. David, Chad, and we're here to talk about 1991 film, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, Secret of the Ooze. Secret of them, their oozes. On Retro. Go, go! go. All right, everybody, welcome back to the dojo. Like David said, we are taking a look at Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, Secret of the Ooze. It was, in our opinion, I think, slightly better than the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 over, though it's really, it's really hard to get over that hump of the first Ninja Turtles movie. Yes. But yes. this probably comes pretty darn close. So, to kick things off right, let's take a look at the trailer that we got when they first announced that the movie was coming. New York City. They're in New York. I didn't know that. Telephone pole. The bad guys are giving the city There's police. A bad time. Criminals. Bad guys. Kino. Help. Help. Oh, Kino. You're so wacky. You're <laughs> pretty sure he played one of the turtles. I think in the he first was one. Donatello in the first one. He was just the suit. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, this movie here, they use their weapons more in this movie than they did in the first one. I have to look that up. I really thought it was the other way around. I really thought that the first one. It seemed like it to me. I just watched it last night, but it seemed like like Donatello uses his staff basically throughout almost the whole movie, and then Leonardo uses swords in the beginning opening scene. Um, but yeah, I mean they pretty much. They use him more often, I'll say that. He's got the canister. Why does Donatello's face always look like he's being really smug? With, I know. Like he's constantly going, hmm, <laughs> wow. Yeah, their their mouths seemed a little weaker. <gasps> Is than... that Bebop? Is it Rocksteady? They don't show them in the commercial. Or in the trailer, so you don't know. Actually, it was a commercial kind of, because yeah, was. You, you'd only seen it on TV or at the start of the video cassette tape. <gasps> Go ninja, go ninja, go! There's Vanilla Ice making his cameo. See, there's, there's a sword part. But he didn't actually use them on anybody. Yeah, no, no, I mean, I mean, can't I, really he can't because can. they made all the foot soldiers yes. human. But. Right, exactly. Aw, snap. High five! Yay, slap hands! So. Coming soon. But yeah, so the like I was saying about the mouths, they had seemed a little bit weaker. They do, uh, and they just like they're turned up. Yeah, and I don't really get yeah, more like a snapping turtle, I guess maybe. I I don't yeah, know. I don't know. I really it's, don't know if that's what it is. I don't think it's supposed to be a snapping turtle. I think it's just we like I don't know. Maybe it's just how the animatronics work. It seems like their faces be. were always turned up. Yeah, and I mean their their eyes were used more often, but. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In one way, they seem more expressionful, if that's a word, and then in other ways, they just like they always look like they're like, mm. yeah, <laughs> yes, yes, all the time. It's, but and yeah, of course, uh, Corey Feldman wasn't Donatello, but I think everyone else was the same. Yeah, so that was a little disappointing. But yeah, but who knows? But it I wasn't mean, Ninja Turtles three. Oh, God. so there's always that. It's I, always I don't, got that going. For should us. we do an episode about the number three? I think we're kind of obligated I, I, to. Yeah, I think so. But uh, I'm gonna go back to feudal Japan. But but the big thing about Turtles Two, of course, was that when we saw the commercial, and you just saw the commercial slash trailer. Yep. Keep calling it a commercial because back in the '80s and '90s, they that's the only time you saw them was commercials yeah. or. Yeah, like right before a movie, like when yeah. you're coming attractions on the video cassette. It wasn't so it was like, a commercial. It wasn't a huge trailer. It wasn't wave a big like trailer thing. Days. Like yeah, every movie's got like 17 trailers. Yeah. But they never show the two other mutants. So like the whole time it was coming out, I was absolutely positive. Yes. Me that too. was Bebop and Rocksteady. Yes. And I was like, oh, it's gonna be so good. Yeah. Shredder looked a little over the top, but okay, whatever. Yeah. That's fine. He's yep. back from the dead. But then we're gonna get Bebop and Rocksteady, and yes. that's all that matters. But in actuality, this is what we got. Yes. Not Bebop and Rocksteady. No, a giant wolf monster and another turtle. Like yes. they couldn't think of any other better creature. Which I don't even know what <laughs> kind of turtle that thing is. It's a, supposed to be a snapping turtle. With spikes? Yeah. <laughs> like, but I mean, I get the concept of make them more scary, but they're babies, and then they gave the wolf man like this big dopey upper lip. Yeah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's just ridiculous. <coughs> but that's what they They're do. Babies. Let's, now let's let's go back and fix it. Hold on a second. We have to go back and fix what they did here because this is an abomination. To go all the way back when you just see Shredder and you don't see anything else. Okay. You see, the problem is this is not Bebop and Rocksteady. No. That's Bebop and Rocksteady. That is. All right. A continue. Ah. At the time, we're still excited because turtles are coming out. You're still thinking to yourself, I guess Joker and Razor could be good. They weren't. No. no. They were weird baby monsters. The suits were obviously ungainly because oh, they always geez. walking around like, yeah. Like obviously guys in big, yes. giant suits. And then the faces were so, like, exaggerated. Like, the turtle, I don't know who was who, Toka or, I think Toka I think was Toka the was wolf. The, was it? I was and thinking, Razor was the turtle because he had maybe, all his spikes. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. But I don't think they ever specified. I'm sure they probably did, but. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. They just say Toka and Razor, they're always together, so who's who. Right. But, like, the turtle's face is pretty good, expression-wise, but he's got a big beak. Yes. So that's not too yeah, hard to deal with. But yeah, the wolf, the wolf obviously was just having all kinds of trouble like, with this. It was like uh, that, uh, what, what, the bird or whatever off the Looney Tunes with the big... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Who was that thing? I don't know. I couldn't... I don't know, but yeah. Name, but. Those things were, they were not Bebop and Rocksteady. No, so it not. was very disappointing. But still, overall, my opinion, I think... It was good. It, it was good. Yeah. It was good. Because most time, most of the time, sequels are usually garbage. Yeah. They got um, a cool new layer, which a lot of people bust on the layer, but I thought the layer I thought was super it was awesome. cool. Yeah. I An abandoned it was awesome. subway car. Yep. Um, they did get a new April O'Neil, which was disappointing to see Jod uh, Judith Hogue not come back yeah. as April O'Neil. But I like the second one, and she, no, I, she's yeah. April O'Neil in two and three. So oh, yeah. That's good. right. She's still, she's still a good character. April O'Neil's kind of a tough one to cast, I think, because you need. You need a woman who seems like she could be like a professional reporter person who's also attractive but not like overly attractive. I don't know. It's a weird thing to think yeah. like they're too beautiful. Like not beautiful people can't do good things. Right. But at some point, it's like, is she really a reporter or is that a swimsuit yeah. model? Yeah. 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 You know, when you got uh, Megan Fox, it was kind of like she's a, she's like a model. She's yes. not. Yeah. Like, she's yeah. not that Megan Fox can't report the news, but that's just not. It didn't seem like a grounded right character. <clears throat> So post down in the comments what you liked the best about Turtles 2 or what you didn't like. Uh, what you thought was terrible about it. Did you also feel scammed that you did not get Bebop and Rocksteady? Yes. In the meantime, while you're typing them their comments with your typey fingers, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, click the bell for notifications, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I already said the subscribe part, but it's always <laughs> worth doing it Lucky twice. Lucky. Don't do it twice. That actually unsubscribes yes, you. Yes, don't do that. So. We'll see you next time on Retro Dojo.